um, I had specific places I wanted to work. I wanted to work in a networking company. A lot of my mother's friends, you know, some of them came and said, I can get you into Zenith Bank and all those things. I rejected it right off the bat. In fact, they were angry with me. You know, one of them was really angry with me, who you know. It was like, how can I have this kind of opportunity? I'm yeah. rejected this bank. I'm like, I am not working for any bank. If you remember a lot of our senior friends are yeah, working for banks, yeah, you know a lot of them. Yeah. I didn't go. Eventually got into GS Telecoms, which was the best thing that happened to me. GS Telecoms later became Gateway, later became Vodacom. Vodacom is associated with Vodafone South Africa. Vodafone UK, sorry. Um, I got into GS Telecoms and I met a guy who was a Cisco certified internet expert. And he told me one thing. He said, I can tell you to do many things to be successful in your career, or I can tell you one thing. If you do that one thing to change your life forever, he said, go and get yourself a CCIE. Mm -hmm. And as an NYSC, I started reading. Now, then you had about six or seven exams to qualify you to do the internet talking exam. It was only done in Dubai, mm -hmm. was the closest. Mm -hmm. It costed $1,600. Mm -hmm. So I did all those certifications, did the written exam, and then I was going to go to, go to the lab. I didn't have money. I used the bonus they paid me in, in the office, paid for it in Dubai, and failed it. Oh. <laughs> so I basically I lost all my savings as someone who was just working, doing an exam that I failed. Um, fast forwarding, I did it a couple more times, and I eventually passed it, and I became a CCIE, which is worldwide recognized. Now, the story between when I started reading and when I finished NYSC and when I became a CCIE 10 years ago now, I'm going to be 10 years next year, mm -hmm. 10 years ago now, was I had to sleep in my office four days out of five days because I couldn't go back to my house. Now, imagine finishing from UNN where you thought you, you had achieved mm -hmm. and you started working and you have a home to sleep, but nobody knew I was sleeping in my office. Mm -hmm. Sometimes in the middle of the night, the security man will come and, come and say, no, 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 come and threaten us and say, you shouldn't be sleeping in your office. My friend and I, we knew that there was just one thing we had to do to advance our career. Yeah. And that was getting what the world recognized. Yes. Because as a CCI, you walk into Dubai, you walk into US, you mm -hmm. walk into anywhere today, they pay you $7,000. They pay you ten thousand. Then they used to pay seven thousand US dollars. I don't know how much they pay now, but then it was heavily recognized, and we knew people that had it. So that was how my journey started. Um, eventually, I left the company, joined Glow, joined Cisco, and um, started doing consulting. You know, I was in Nigeria where people were complaining of the Naira economy, but I was already making the US dollars even while I was in Nigeria as mm -hmm. far back as you know twenty twelve. 